Welcome, welcome, welcome Bloxburg designers! Today I will go through tips on how to design a better aesthetic house for you to live in. I've seen many beginners go through these mistakes and I am here to tell you about it. So let's hop into these tips. Tip number one, creating a plain box layout. A common mistake for beginners is that they normally create a plain box layout. To fix this issue, you can try to change the shape by making other box layouts like this. Unless you are building a contemporary or modern house, you are free to use a box layout. Next tip in our list are pillars and wall trims. By adding pillars and wall trims, you are giving detail to your home. Have you, have you guys ever wondered why 2D animations are good? Because they have outlines to give detail and emphasizes the scenes. So in building cases, our outlines would be pillars and wall trims. Our next tip is adding detail. I know that adding details is frustrating because you may not know how to use details. But trust me, to have good details is to be creative. The more creative you are, the better outcome your designs will be. If you need help on how to make details, you can search up other people's design ideas or follow interior design pages in social media such as Instagram, Pinterest, Twitter, Facebook, and many more. Another tip is to not use larger rooms to create your layouts. Bedrooms, living rooms, kitchens, and dining rooms shouldn't be more than 5x5. Five five. For bathrooms, I recommend a 3x3 three three layout as it saves more space for your plot. When you create large rooms, you're making your house really spacious which is not aesthetically pleasing. But if you do have large rooms, you could use some of the space as a study room, storage room, cinema room, lobby, sitting room, game room, music room, office, dirty kitchen, and many more interesting rooms. Finally, our last tip is colors and textures. When you start building your house, I recommend painting your home at the end. This is to save more time for you to build. You should think about what your room's theme would be as you're furnishing your house. For example, if you have less windows in a room, you'd probably want to use a lighter theme to paint. And if you have more windows, you could settle with a dark theme color like brown, gray, green, etc. Try to use different textures in your rooms and not just use one texture. You could, you could use wood for coffee tables and use fabric for couches. You could also use concrete for bookcases and metal for console tables. Try not to use neon colors as it just makes your house look ugly. I suggest going for warm colors as they are commonly used by other builders. And that is it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed and would want to see more types of videos like these in the future. Make sure to subscribe if you want to see more videos for me to upload. Thank you, goodbye.